Yo, yo, what's up? We back. Pleasure is all mine to be back. Before we get into this, like, share, subscribe, comment. If you already haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you haven't done already, please go follow my Instagram page. Follow me, I follow you back. It's still Real Rap with Kane on Instagram. It's the same handle. Um, but let's get into this, man. Y'all see the y'all see the headline, y'all see the title of this, so we're gonna get into it. So y'all see Fannie Willis ain't playing. That's a district attorney of Fulton County. You see she's not playing with y'all. It is what it is, right? She trying to she's trying to clean up the streets of her uh her county. She just indicted drug rich gang, whatever that is. Um, it's a 200 page count uh, it's a 200 page indictment so that means there was a lot of homework done it's a lot of evidence it's a lot of you know they gonna have on there in this instance approximately on this day and time this was done and whatever the case may be right but, but clearly she's trying to clean up phone County right I need y'all to be mindful of, of, of the places that y'all trying to do these these criminal activities in right? You look at you know Atlanta itself and, and, and the counties that surround Atlanta, the metro Atlanta area. You know, when you really look at it, it's like ground zero, but that's like the black mecca, right? It still is, it's still growing. More and more black people are, are, are going there. More and more black people are going there and uh, visiting and moving. What's that? You know what I'm saying? And you know, it is what it is, right? And we understand what elements come with that, unfortunately, right? Everybody don't move places for the same reasons. But then you also got to take into account the people that's already there, right? The people that's already there that say you come in there shining real good, you eating real good. You know what I'm saying? But this gang was very, this gang was a little different, right? The reason why I say this gang was a little different because this gang specialized in home invasions, robberies, right? That's what they did. That's what they do. Right? That's what they do. That's what they did. Right? They specialize in the robbery game. They all about the jokes. They, I mean, Ala was going out and going on in LA right now as well. Right? You got people putting tracking devices on your on your car. They following you home. They lining you up with women. Right? Whatever entry point that they can find. Whatever cre crack or crevice that they can find to get at you. That's what they doing. Right, and they're talking to celebrities quite naturally, right? Why? Because in their mind, that's the path of least resistance. They're not gonna get no street activity in return in return behind it. But the math they're not doing is the level of profile of that robbery because of who that person is that they robbing, right? That's the other mathematics that they're not doing, right? So when you fig when when you figure that the celebrities are bringing revenue and, um, and income to Fulton County, right? They not trying to let that bag go up for people to say, oh no, we can't live in Fulton County. We can't live in Atlanta. It's no longer safe. We can't do nothing like this. We gotta go live somewhere else, right? They not trying to lose those people in, that, in, in those tax brackets, right? So, it, it, I mean, I guess you can pray on something. You can you can do all that fan fancy, uh, fancy stuff, but you gotta tick what come with that. You understand? It's a lot that come with that. You gotta tick what come with that. Um. At the same time, though, these celebrities, these people, you're moving to a new place, right? Y'all be lunching. I'm just being honest. It ain't just celebrities. It be people that's moving from one place to the next, right? And you don't even understand the terrain of the place that you're you're living in, right? You moving on. You moving around in La La Land. You know what I'm saying? Like the wolves are still outside. The wolves are outside, like. What are you doing? They know you're not from there. They know you, you got you got a recognizable face. Your Instagram show all your cars, so they know when the car pull up. You know what I'm saying? You showing your crib, so they can narrow it down what neighborhood you may live in and all that other weird stuff that y'all be doing on the internet. Y'all be doing too much, man. They see the car looking good. They see the clothes looking good. They see the jewels fresh from the jeweler getting clean. Right? You, you, you going in the club getting bottle service. You know what I'm saying? Like. They paying attention to all this, whether you realize it or not. And that person probably don't bump you that night. You ain't even paying attention. That person don't bump you. The person's going to rob you in three hours. That person already don't bumped into you. Like, literally checked you. Why? Because they just, in their mind, that's the pre, that's the pre cause for them in their mind to know that they can get to you. They can get close to you. You got to understand the psychology of this. 
you got three type of people, man. That's uh, that, that's in those neighborhoods. That street dudes. You got hustlers. They just pure hustlers. That's all they want to do is hustle, right? You got the hustlers that the times get hard. They want to get in the robbery game, right? Only only to get what they need to get so they can get back right. That's not really what they do, but they will, right? Then you got the wolves. All they want to do is feed off you. They, they you know, I was thinking about this earlier, right? Because it's the same. It's the same analogy, right? Think about people that, that that live on farms, raised on farms, right? They feed their cattle, right? Whatever cattle they know, they about to kill next, right? They get, they make sure that that, that cattle or whatever that is, that animal is super healthy. Feed them right. Make sure it's exercise game in order. Walk them around, but they gonna make sure this animal is in top notch shape, right? Physical health before they cut his head off and put him on the stove, right? Them wolves work the same way. It's gonna be that dude standing right next to you, like, hey yo, man, hey yo, like, hey, they go a custody. You just missed the custody, right? Or it's gonna be a dude like, hey man, it's time for you to re up. They know I need you to get all this money because when I come for you, I want you to have as much money as possible. I ain't trying to rob you for no little 10, 20 thousand. I wanna make sure you got as much as possible. So you gotta be aware, like, people really do stuff like this, man. Like, y'all, and y'all lunching. Like, y'all really moving to these places in La La Land, not paying attention to the person. Or what they doing and how they moving around with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to check the temperature and the energy when you're getting out of a car. Right? When you're getting out of a car, pay attention to the eyes. Pay attention to the energy. Right? Pay attention to the energy. Right? Like, you got to pay attention to all of this. You understand what I'm saying? So, and if you're not paying attention, you're going to be, you, you're going to be platter. You're going to be a platter. I promise you. You're going to be on that table as a platter. Right? So, all that stuff is fine and dandy. Like I said, it's all cool. Move to a new place, but you better understand the terrain where you're moving at. You got to you gotta understand that culture and that element of what they're talking about. Right? You got to understand the element of the culture of what they're talking about and what they're into. Otherwise, you getting lined up right before your eyes and you don't even realize fully what's going on because you're lunching. you on club time. You won't let me get bent though up in the parking lot time. Right? I mean, you got, like I said, you got a recognizable face. You got your whole life on Instagram. That's what y'all do. Y'all put every car y'all have and when y'all get it custom and all that, y'all want to put, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm the only person with these rims in the city. Like, y'all want to do all this weird stuff, man. Like, making yourself a target. Like, people are already going to look at you like you fool because they know you up. Or the impression is you up. You could not really even have it, but just the impression is you up. So that's enough. So when you come up from the club and they follow you home three, four, and five in the morning after you come from Waffle House, understand? Because you ain't even paying attention in your mirrors and all that, right? And don't get it confused. That that hustler that may not be in the robbing, right? At all. He don't do that at all. He still may put some people on you like I don't do that, but y'all do that. Just bring me back such and such. You know what I'm saying? It's like, man, there's so many, it's so many layers, there's so many layers and variables to that game, man. Like, like I said, but the key is you moving to somebody else's town. You don't own that town. You don't run that town. You a visitor. You know what I'm saying? And you still gotta be on your peaks and cues because you're not exempt. Matter of fact, you you come before anybody else because, like I said, the chances of them doing something to you and getting repercussions from it on the streets. Like, we ain't talking about the police. We talking about on the streets. Like, it's slim to none. You know what I'm saying? So that's the that's the path of least resistance. If they rob a dope boy or something like that, throw them in the trunk, there's a chance that they may have to go through something behind that. But with y'all, the chances are slim. Y'all gonna make a police report. Y'all gonna stay in the house for two years. Y'all ain't gonna go to movie sets or video shoots or whatever. Like, 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 man, listen. Or y'all made just all our moves to get that back. You know what I'm saying? But real ramifications of violence, they not worried about that. They not worried about that. Like I said, if you in that club life, the dude that's about to rob you at 5 in the morning probably already don't bump you on purpose. Just to prove it, just to prove something to himself mentally that he can get close to you. I promise you that's how it goes. But... Fanny not playing, that's all I'm going to say. To the other side of these games, like I said, Fanny not playing with y'all. Fanny did serious. Fan, fan ain't playing. Fan, fan ain't playing. 
telling you, she she taking the streets back up. And you know she probably got greater political aspirations. So she, she but she if she get this back in order, which I'm pretty sure she is, because I'm pretty sure a lot of people about to slow down, like all them shootouts in Atlanta and stuff like that. Like, yo, they not used to that level of violence for real, man. Like 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 not in those places where the violence is happening. No, I mean they got the zones and all that. Like, like they got wild spots. I'm not talking about those spots. I'm talking about those spots where y'all bringing the robberies and home invasions, and they not used to the violence right there. But why you think they want to make an example out of Young Thug? He living in Buckhead. He living next door to CEOs of Verizon and all that. You really think they gonna let him live comfortably, having all these different niggas in and out of this neighborhood, playing this live music, smoking this weed and all that? You really think they about to let that slide? Man, y'all gotta y'all gotta do different kind of mathematics, man. Y'all calculators is broke or something. Like y'all math is way off. You understand what I'm saying? It's like I'm gonna need y'all to get it in I'm gonna need y'all to get it in control, man. Y'all gotta get that back in order. Like they not going for all this violence, man. And she keep every 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 um press conference she has, she tell y'all, I'm not going for the violence. I'm not gonna destroy my county. It's been being destroyed for a long time. You know what I'm saying? Like, it goes back to BMF when BMF got there, like, outsiders. I'm talking about Carl Wise's outsiders bringing ruckus. You know what I'm saying? They got their homegrown problems. Okay, they know how to, you know what I'm saying? They got their fingers on that post already. But when it's imported problems and people think they're going to move there and turn up, as y'all say, they're not going for that. Fan fan ain't going for that. Fan fan ain't going for that, dog. If y'all can't figure out Fan Fan ain't going for that, y'all gonna be next. Y'all gonna be the next headline. Indictment coming near you. You know what I'm saying? And honestly, you know, you know, I'm kind of torn because I'm wanting. You know, I don't want to see no nobody in jail and all that. I better see somebody dead first. But at the same time, something need to happen with you dudes. Period, man. Man, you dudes out here shooting up blocks, hitting innocent women and children, and you got kids scared to go to school because of the violence. You got Y'all shooting up whole cars for kids in the back seats and all that. Man, listen, man. Something need to happen to y'all, bro. Like, I'm just going to keep it a stack. Like, that ain't nothing cool about that. Ain't never, never been cool about that. I'm so glad I wasn't raised in this era, man. Conditioned in this era. I don't know what to do with myself. Like, y'all way out of pocket. Y'all retarded, man. I thought we was the crack babies. Y'all, oh, y'all the fentanyl babies. My bad. I get it. Now I see what's going on. But... Yeah, I just want I want to stop in real brief, man. Talk about that. Um, the link in the description box. Tomorrow night at seven, be on the Don Miller show again. Um, you know, we be talking about some interesting topics on here, just like I do on here. It's really just an extension of what I talk about on here. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, seven p.m. tomorrow night, Eastern Standard Time. I'm gonna put the link in the description box. Y'all tune in, man. Y'all let me know y'all tuning in. I'm saying that energy is very important. You know what I mean? People know y'all tuning in. People know they got the air to people. That gives a, a different kind of motivation. You know what I'm saying? Like, we need that drive, too. We need that fuel. Y'all the fuel. You know what I mean? But um, like, share, subscribe, comment. Let me know you was in here. Um, check me out tomorrow night. I'll be in the building. Till next time.